Germany launched a pivotal step in overhauling its naval close-range defense systems with the release of a major public tender titled QNFMLG, Cross-Sectional Successor for Light Naval Guns. Published via the German government's e-procurement portal, this initiative signals a decisive modernization of the Bundeswehr's maritime weaponry in response to the growing prominence of drone warfare and irregular threats in modern combat scenarios. At the heart of this effort is the transition from the legacy 27mm naval guns to more advanced 30 by 173 mm caliber systems. These next-generation weapons are designed to handle evolving threats such as fast-moving drones and small surface targets by leveraging programmable airburst munitions. This shift marks a broader tactical realignment within Germany's naval doctrine, prioritizing firepower precision and multi-domain adaptability. The procurement framework spans from October 2026 through August 2041 and encompasses the delivery of up to 175 systems. This includes initial acquisition of 75 confirmed units, with an optional batch of 100 more to follow. Packages will feature full system kits, maintenance tools, spare parts, and comprehensive crew training modules. These new systems must demonstrate full technological maturity, technology readiness level 9, indicating proven deployment in real-world conditions. That requirement effectively disqualifies any platform still in development or in prototype stages. Additionally, all contenders must provide integrated electro-optical suites, including day-slash-night imaging and laser rangefinding capabilities. Several global defense manufacturers are eyeing the contract. Rainmetal C Snake 30, compatible with airburst munitions and undergoing current testing, stands out. Leonardo's modular Marlin 30, certified under NATO standards, is also in the running, along with BAE Systems MGS, which emphasizes counter-drone applications. Elbit Systems may present the NSG-30, though details about its airburst compatibility remain unclear. The 27mm MLG-27, which currently equips F-124 and F-125 frigates, corvettes, and auxiliary vessels, has proven reliable but lacks the advanced capabilities required in this new phase. Even Rainmetal's MLG 27-4.0, earmarked for the upcoming F-126 class, is disqualified due to its incompatible caliber and absence of airburst functionality. As drone swarms, kamikaze UAVs, and hybrid maritime threats become more prevalent, German naval planners are recalibrating their expectations. The decision to arm future vessels, including the F-127 frigates, new multi-utility surface elements, Muse, and even the originally unarmed Class 424 fleet service ships, with advanced weaponry shows a systemic pivot. No longer are support ships viewed as passive participants, they're now seen as requiring active defenses to survive in contested zones. This modernization aligns Germany with broader European trends. For example, Sweden has begun equipping its Visby-class corvettes with advanced air defense systems like the Sea Scepter. In a similar vein, Germany's QNFMLG initiative illustrates that future naval architecture must assume that all platforms, even auxiliary ones, are potential targets in asymmetric conflicts. Ultimately, the program is not just about swapping out old guns. It represents a fundamental reassessment of how naval assets must adapt to new forms of warfare. With programmable ammunition, increased lethality, and standardized integration, Germany is setting a new benchmark for how technologically validated systems can provide a credible counter to fast-evolving airborne and surface threats. The QNFMLG program underscores the Bundeswehr's commitment to resilient, future-ready naval defense, and a clear recognition that in today's maritime battle space, advanced close-range capabilities are no longer optional.